Hi, this is Paul Thompson with Waygate Technologies. In this episode on the Minter Visual IQ with Real 3D Measurement, I will be discussing depth measurement of pitting using 3D phase structured light. When evaluating this indication, it appears that there is erosion or corrosion or pitting on the surface. My first thought to evaluate it with Real 3D Measurement using structured light is to add a measurement type of depth. When I place three cursors on the surface, I'm establishing a mathematical plane where those three cursors will establish a plane to measure from or to, whether it be a distance above or below the plane. Once I have the measurement, I can look in the white light image on the left, I can compare it to the point cloud image on the right, or now that I can measure in the point cloud by placing my cursors in a real 3D point cloud, I can first rotate the image to see what I'm dealing with. The blue square around the image is the reference plane that aligns up with my three cursors that I've placed to establish my depth measurement plane. That data that's green is data that is very close or pixels that are very close to that mathematical plane. Data that is not green is data that's above or below it. So I'm noticing on the far left side of my image I have data that's not in the mask when I rotate the point cloud to understand why. What I'm now realizing is that I'm measuring the ID of a large diameter pipe, and I can see the curvature from above the measurement plane on the left, going down to the measurement plane in the center line, and above the measurement plane on the right. When I rotate this, I notice that my measurement plane is running across the longitudinal axis and not with the longitudinal axis. So I can touch a cursor, make it active in the point cloud, reposition it, and I'll reposition all three of them to align with the pipe floor, the longitudinal axis, and double check my work there, rotating the reference plane and the measurement plane to where I'm looking straight across them. I'm now measuring down the longitudinal axis. I'm now getting a depth at that point of 326 thousandths. I can then, with an additional surface mask in real 3D, start repositioning that cursor and look at the entire erosion, corrosion, pitting shape and notice that it's much larger than it visually appeared. And if I rotate it and look at, and look at a side view, I can now see the color gradient from this point at the bottom that is active now and start moving it down into that pitting. You'll see it, you can look at it from a cross section where everything now that has this mask is in this case 210 thousandths all the way down to the deepest area, which I'll do by looking down into the corrosion pit and move towards the darkest red area. Once I have all of the dark red eliminated, I'll be at the deepest point in that indication. And now I will move to that and you'll see that this pit is indicating 325,000 seven inch deep. Always do a gauge R and R to verify that you're repeating and reproducing the results and take various images of the same indication to make sure you're accurately making a good call. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about the Mentor Visual IQ or our other remote visual inspection products, rentals, or our on-site advanced inspection services, please visit our website at waygate-tech.com.